King of hospitality, come greet ya. He's always with a smile, cause he pleased to meet ya. He keeping it 100, he keeping it peaceful. The question is the name of the show. Damn your people. You got the word, let the whole world know. Damn your people. Life's a party, man, y'all welcome to go. Community is family, that's how we grow. When the king of hospitality step your way, he just want to know what everybody got to say. Talk and laugh to go a long, long way. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. People by the people TV. Every week some TLC, TYP. Bring laughter to smiles and joy your night. One touch from the wand, it might change your life. When the king of hospitality says thank you, he not being funny, he just being grateful. He know you know what time it is when you hear this song. You better get your people's, them your people's is on. Okay? <laughs> okay. 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 What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary, the king of hospitality. Guess what? Cancer has a new look. It is a new look. And it's just not for the older people. It's not just for women. It's just not for those that are active and all of a sudden something happened. Cancer is affecting young people. It's affecting children as well. Who do I have with me? Wanda Love. Miss Wanda, what is this about for you this morning? This is about walking for my cousin, Chandra, yeah. Matt, and also Miss Cushman. My sister Denise White and my mom passed in 2013 from breast cancer. We out here supporting all of them. Oh my God, well tell me about these young people. Make some noise, make some noise, young people. Yeah! Oh my God, this is what it's about. Hey y'all, what is this about? What's your name? Jaden, Cherry, Imorje, Mariah, Zariah, Matt, Ariana, Shania, Raviana, Amori, Cassidy, Hey, you all, this is what it's about. We got something that came in. What's up? What y'all on? What's, hey. on? What's your name? Jordan. Jordan. Jemiah. Jemiah. Hey, listen, I want to always make sure that we give homage and pay homage to the young people. Young people, we are glad that you all are here representing. One day you'll understand more and more about it, but for right now, you all are in it, and that lets me know you're going to be winners. You're going to win it. What do you say when he says, Mr. Gary, the king got sassy? I got your people. I got your young people, too. Okay? <laughs> okay. It's Mr. Gary, the king of hospitality. Sister Strut 2022. We're showing up and we're showing out. But let me tell you what this good part right here is all about. A lot of times you say, it doesn't affect me. Oh, I don't know anybody who's dealing with that. Oh, guess what? She's doing good. He's doing good. Oh, they're doing great. Guess what? You see my story, my, you see my glory, but you don't know my story. I want to introduce somebody to you that you've seen all around town, hanging out, doing it for the people, doing it for the kids. Her name would be Miss Keisha Lee. Annie Malone Children's Home, make some noise. Make some noise, family. But although we know Annie Malone is your adopted family, you got your real family. This is my this real family. You, These you got my your people. family, your people for real. Yes. Keisha, somebody's watching right now. They say they see you all over the place and you're so healthy and you're doing this and you're doing that. What do you say to them? Look, when you don't feel good, you got to look good, baby. You, when you don't feel good, you got to look good. I got a surgery coming up next week, 10 hours, but I'm hurt and I'm strutting for those that's in the hospital now or those that didn't make it, like my friend Jessica Jones. She died three nights ago. I got to strut for them, people that want to be here. So look, when you don't feel good, you got to look good. Show oh up. God. Well, I tell you what, you're looking real good. You showed up with your people. Yes. But let me tell you what else. They say behind every good, 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 good woman is a good, 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 real good man. Is that true? That's true. Would you do us That's a favor? That's my husband. That's my your, husband, your... Albert Lee. That's my husband oh my right God. there. That's my backbone. Oh my God. Albert, what's up, man? How you doing, Gary? Man, How I'll you tell doing? You I'm doing really, really good. Yeah, good I'm here to with see. you and your people, man. Oh, yeah. Man, what does it mean? You got a wife, and I know the family, you all don't want her to go so hard, go so strong, but what? Hey, it means the world, man. See her out here happy. She here, yeah. you know. We yeah. all love it. And she yeah. doing good. And yeah. It just makes us feel good to see her doing it. Man, I'm going to tell you what. i tell you what makes us feel good. Introduce your children to us. This is my daughter right here. Hi. Hi. Hello. I get a lot of Hello. babies, so this is my daughter, Alyssa Lee. This is my baby. Mom, mom was diagnosed with cancer. What did you all do? We stay strong. When stay we stay strong, strong we stay, stay united strong. all together. Stay united all together. Yeah. But that's my support system. You got to look at this. Oh, you don't get this. These cousins, this love, show up and show out. I mean, pack the hospital. The room. Uh, my sisters, my family, my this is love. Oh my God. Let me tell you something. Hopefully you were surrounded by love just like this. Let me tell you something. It's nothing but love. And it's not just about when the diagnosis comes. It's about how are you going to be in there later. Hey, they're going to have some good days. They're going to have some not so good days. But I just know, I know 
that when you show up and when you show out with your love, with your phone calls, with your texts to your people, I know to make a difference. Yes. So what do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. We are strutting for Sister Strut with the people, for the people, for you, you, <laughs> and of course you. Okay, Strut Girl. Girl, go on the strut. Let me tell you, that's okay, girl. See, they just strutting. Y'all see, they strutting. They strutting. We got your people. Okay? Okay. Hey, what do you say? It is Mr. Gary, the king of hospitality. We've shown up and we've shown out. Guess what? Because Sam's Clubs knows what it's all about. Yeah. What's your name? James. James, who y'all represent today? I'm representing my sister that passed this year from cancer. Okay, okay. Her name Janice. Memories. Janice. Baldwin. Yeah. All right, all right. For a great life. For a great yeah. life. What's your name? My name is Dion Nelson. Okay, Dion, who you represent today? I'm representing my aunt. She's a survivor. Okay. And then my aunt that passed a couple years ago. Okay, okay. And what's your name? Shantae Nelson. Uh -huh. I'm representing the same same people she's representing, my Aunt Melinda okay. and my Aunt Jackie who passed. I thought y'all told me y'all was representing Sam's Club. Well, we well, ain't nobody stopping. I'm tired of y'all coming on my show, calling me. Ain't nobody said nothing about <laughs> Sam's Club not one time. I represent <laughs> Grandma, Big Mama, <laughs> Auntie. You know what? Delight. <laughs> I represent Delight. Well, all right, Miss Dinah's Delight. You got your hands on your hip. Let your backbone slip. Hey, you all, this is what it looks like when you come together in the spirit of love. It doesn't make a difference if it's Sam's. It doesn't make a difference if it's Save a Lot, if it's Bomberito Automotive, if it's William C. Harris. It makes a difference that you and your people, and if it's Dinah's Delight. Hey, in the community for years and years. Yes, a shout-out to Dinah's Delight. A shout-out to the south side of St. Louis. Thanks, Okay. <laughs> okay. What do you say? What do you say, Mr. Gary? I'm here at the Empire. Barbers, beauticians, and stylists, too. I'm waiting for you because you know what to do. Get in, get in, bring your card, and save. Guess what? Is it clippers? Is it shears? Maybe it's lashes, too. Whatever it is, it's the Empire Beauty. We want to let you know if you're a stylist, beautician, or barber, we're waiting on you. Okay? <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. So exactly how much is a lot a lot? It's a lot a lot. Like a lot a lot. Like, show me everything you got a lot. Like a lot of bang for a little buck, like a filet for the price of chop, like a short stack that's a mile high or lasagna, pile to the sky. It's a lot of something that'll make you smile and a lot of good to keep you shopping right. So grab a friend and take a bite. You might just find it's a lot to like. Hey, that's a lot, a lot. Save a lot, a lot. It's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. You can get with this or you can get with that. You can get with this or you can get with that. But guess what? Them your people, you all are the people. And that's where it's at. What do you say? What do you say? It is Mr. Gary the King of Hospitality. I want to thank you, you, and of course you for showing up every week and showing out because this is truly what it's all about. Get social with me. So it doesn't make a difference if it's Facebook, if it's Twitter, if it's Instagram, if it's TikTok, whatever it is. You might still want to email somebody. You might just want to text me to somebody. Whatever you want to do, do it because I appreciate you. Hey, listen, it is October. This is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This is the month that we make ourselves extra aware of what's going on. Hey, listen, we're trying to fight this thing called cancer. And it's not just affecting women. It's affecting men. It's affecting children. It's affecting people on your job, people in your homes, people that are next door to you, people in your churches, just people all over. Take time to make time. Men and women, get yourselves checked out, right? If you don't know where you can go get checked out, Go on to any of the sites, the social sites, the St. Louis County, St. Louis City Health Department and see where you can get it. mammogram screening for free. Go into a community, whatever you do. Call somebody and say, hey, listen, have you gone through, have you got checked out? But most of all, check on your people. For those who have been diagnosed, see how they are making it through. I'm Mr. Gary, the King of Hospitality. I want you to know you can get with this. You can get with that. You can get with this. You can get with that. But get with your people. Breast Cancer Awareness Month is right now, and this is where it's at. Okay? I'm checking for me, so I must be checking for you. Okay? Okay.
me and say it's Mr. Gary. I have showed up, and guess what? The Sister Strut is showing out. I got your people. Harris Stone State University. Cheerleaders, make some noise. Oh, my God. What's your name, darling? Romani. Let me tell you. Everybody said the students are supposed to be on campus. That's not true. If you're a student, that means that you are learning the community. What does this mean for you all, Amani? Uh, my name is Romani, hello. Um, this means a big deal for us because, you know, as cheerleaders, the word leader is in cheer. Oh, so wow. we're just showing us, you know, how we support the community and also walking for everybody in our families because I know we've all been touched by this horrible disease. Oh, my God. What's, what were you from? What, what state are you representing? Uh, well, I'm from California. California's in the house. Your name and where you're from? I'm Trinity, and I'm from Illinois. Illinois in the house. I'm Daya, I'm from St. Louis. St. Louis right here in the house. I'm Taryn, I'm from Springfield, Illinois. Springfield, Illinois is right in hell, right in hell. I'm Sam and I'm from St. Louis. Sam is from St. Louis. I'm Cammie, I'm from St. Louis originally. St. Louis originally. My name is Chrissy and I'm from Minnesota. Minnesota's in the house. <laughs> My name is Olin, I'm from St. Louis. Hey, let me tell you something, north, south, east, west, they're showing up for you. For you, and you may have cancer, and you may not know what to do. We want you to go onto the website. We want you to get involved. Guess what? It's not gloom and doom. We're showing up. We're showing up. Because guess what? Y'all stomp with me. Stomp with me, y'all. We're trying to stomp this thing called cancer. We know what it's about. So what do you say? What do you say? Stomp, stomp, stomp. OK? Ha, <laughs> OK. It is Mr. Gary the King of Hospitality. I've shown up, and the women are showing up. They strutting. They got men. They got people from the north, south, east, west, because guess what? They know they got to get together and come together as one to kick this thing called cancer out. It's the very best. What's your name? D. Who are you representing? Terry. My sister Angela in Oklahoma. Right. Oklahoma's being represented. What's your name? My name is Terry, and I'm a 20-year breast cancer survivor. Oh God. God is good. Sabrina. And Sabrina, who you representing? Nobody. Women of grace. One, no. Well, let me tell you something. For everybody that is a woman of grace, obviously, what's your name? Sabrina. Sabrina said you are nobody. You are nobody. And I don't care how much grace you got. And I don't care if you are a woman, baby. You are nobody. She said, y'all heard. What did, what did she say? What did she say? Women of grace is everything. <laughs> and everybody. Oh, my God. We are women. Oh, let me tell you something. It's about the love. What's your name? Elise. Elise, what I want you all to know, it's just like we did just right now. Just because a diagnosis came and with cancer, people don't want you to stop acting different. People don't want you to be cautious and walking on eggshells. They want you to still have spirit. Fun, love. Is that right, ma'am? That's right, sir. Who do I have with me? My name is Felicia Johnson, and I am the founder of Women of Grace Outreach Ministry. Oh. And we are strutting today for all of our sisters, survivors, and those that may have lost their battle. Oh, my God. See, this is what it's about. We say it's about your people. When we come together, it's about getting people together. It's about representing your family. Now, I know your people. What is your maiden name? Brunson. And what is the maiden name of the Brunson family? Weber. Oh, my God. I know your Webber. mama now. You do. Let me tell you something. Your mama. But not nobody say nothing mm. about Miss Magnolia That's to right. Me. That's when right. When you look at things like this and you can keep and continue the love going, your mom, your aunts, what does this do for you? This does a lot for me because yeah. our family has been affected by breast, breast yes. cancer, yes. but my mom was also a battle a blood cancer, yeah, so that yeah. C word is one that we need to eradicate oh my God. in Jesus' name. Let me tell you something. This is what it's all about. When I see Felicia, and I knew you when you was a little girl, right? Ah, my, 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 my best friend in life, Sheila Alcos, Sheila Weber, the Weber family, Denise, Deborah, Kenny, Ruben, Rodney, your brother, yeah. the aunties, Dora. Oh, my God. When I see you all and I see you walking tall, walking strong, organizing something mm -hmm. like this, they must be shining down on you. They I must hope be they shining are. Down on I you. hope they are. So what do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. I got your people. Y'all take my arm. Would you take my arm? Take my arm? Let's strut. Let's strut. Okay? <laughs> okay. I don't feel no ways tired. I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy, but I don't believe he's bought me or these strutters or the survivors. I don't believe he bought them too far to leave you.
Absolutely. What's up with that? Did you like that? I love it. God is good. Oh, my God. All, all the, the time. time. And all the time. <laughs> and all the time, God is good. Oh, my God. What's your name? Angela Wells Peterson. Now, let me tell you something, Angela. You got some ladies. Yes. You got some people here with you. What's yes. your name? Yes. Marilyn Jackson. It's Marilyn. Yeah. Grindel Johnson. Grindel. You all got something in common, first of all. What would that be? You said it. You city, you city. Let me tell you something. You city high to the day we die. We big and bold, black and gold, but today we pinked out, baby, for pinked the car. Out for the car. Let me tell you, you went to the doctor and they told you some news. What did they say? They say I had breast cancer. Oh my God. What was that journey like when they said that to you? Were you expecting them to say it to you? Why did you even go to the doctor? Did you get checked out in advance? What happened? I had a mammogram. Yeah. And it came back with some changes. Yeah. They wanted to look into it further. Yeah. They did a biopsy. Yeah. And it was positive. And it was positive. Yes. Did your world stop then? It slowed down. It slowed down. It's a wake up call. It's a wake up call. It's yes. a wake up call. Yes. I tell you what. And then what did you do? I prayed. Yeah. I made a decision to move forward. Forward yeah, and to live my life out loud, boldly, yeah. oh my and God. proud, without the fear. Without the fear. Walk in faith. A walk in faith. Yes. I tell you what, that's what you city. That's what we do. We are so you city for life. And what class? Represent your class. Class of 1980, black and gold. 1984. <laughs> 1984. Class of? And 83. So where there is an 80, there's an 84, there's an 83. Must be an 82, baby. It must be an 82. I want to send a shout out right now to Team Gretchen. You all know our classmate. Gretchen Smith was diagnosed with cancer. Oh. We all rallied around her. So wow. seeing everybody for you, City, continue to rally around. This is what it's about. Hey, y'all, we got to end up doing it. We got to support our people. We got to show up. We got to show out. Because guess what? Everybody just do the, do the kick. Kick. Kick and cancer is what it's all about. OK? Damn. <laughs> OK. Bomberu Automotive Group wants to buy your car and will pay more than anyone else. Just celebrating our 50th year in business, we're the biggest and best in St. Louis. We are a thousand employees strong. And once again, named St. Louis is number one choice for all their automotive needs. We want your vehicle or are willing to pay. Sell your car, truck, or SUV to Bomberito. Not only will we pay the most, but we will give you a $500 Visa gift card at the time we purchase. Visit any location or Bomberito.com. A better experience, a better price. Bomberito, Missouri's number one automotive. Hey, what do you Say what do you say? It's Mr. Gary the King of Hospitality. Listen, I got my pink, y'all. I'm dressed up and I'm ready. And I got my people. We are here for a cause. What is that cause, Dr. Bobby? Well, I'm here to receive an award from them. Yes, sir. So yes, they sir. say you got the award? For the, for the now, do I have it now? Yeah. No, we won't get it to tomorrow. Well, I tell you what, I what? tell you what some people got though. Oh. They've been diagnosed with cancer, Dr. Bobby. Oh. This is go. Pink, it's October, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I got my pink on, I Dr. See, Bobby, right? I see. Right. right. Lady Mardine, what do we know about this, this vicious well, thing? We, we know that, but I do know this, that prompt, when you do it early enough, yes. you can be helped. Yes. Some have been cured uh, 20, 30 years. I see patients that I've had the opportunity of uh, doing their man work, and they're still alive because they were early enough to catch it. And Dr. Bobby knows that we had... Well, his sister was a victim of it, and yes. uh, yeah. we, 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 we don't like to publicize the enemy, but you know what? The enemy can be friendly when we have these medical minds, yes. and we know that you must get your mam mams done once a year, mm. as anything else, mm. and take advantage of what they say that you need. Don't worry about what you were born with and you gonna go with both of your breasts and you ain't gonna take no knee away and you're not gonna do that. Well, just do that and if you do that, the devil gonna stay on his job. Before he takes that away, he'll take all of you away. Well, what a good promoter for, for this occasion, yes, huh? Sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, so congratulations, Mrs. Gales. Oh my God. <laughs> Dr. Bobby, there's so many people who give up hope. So many people don't understand this thing, right? Mm -hmm. But they look to you and they watch you on television. They've been watching you for so many years. Can you please give the people who don't understand, it's just not those who may have di a diagnosis, but those who take care of the people, those who keep them celebrated, because I know when I watch you, I just smile, I smile <laughs> real big. I have hope, Dr. Bobby. I'd be the honor if you take my microphone. Take them to church. What can you say to the people, Dr. Bobby? About this cancer situation? Yes, yes, yes. Well, I mean, you know, there's been diseases around us for as long as we've been here on this planet. Sometimes we can get some cured, sometimes we can't. But if we be respectful to what the uh, 
people who are technicians in this in this field of medicine, they can help us out a great deal. Sometimes we look what we are supposed to do to take care of ourselves, but um, now we have the technicians that can take care of that. And I'm talking about physicians, as you probably know, and uh, others who are assisting in that. Sorry money to the to the to help to get rid of cancer that's another way of doing it yes, and like you talking today about it and people aware yes, that there can be cures yes, for this disease yes, sir. Mm -hmm. well, i tell you what mm -hmm. there can't be cures for this disease i'm mr gary i got dr bobby jones i got lady Merdin gills we're here it is breast cancer awareness month but it's time for you to be aware and it doesn't mean that you just have to be a female it means that you can be a male it can be you can be a child but guess what you got to do you got to learn about it you got to know about it and you got to support the people mm -hmm. guess what just because you're diagnosed that does not mean that it's time to give up it's time for you to get up it's time for you to dress up it's time for you to smile up it's time for you to be up and it's time for you to just know up know more about it if you can't do all that, then guess what? There you go. <laughs> Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you say? What do you say? It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Let's celebrate life, okay? <laughs> Them your people. <laughs> Come get your people. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So exactly how much is a lot a lot? It's a lot a lot. Like a lot a lot. Like, show me everything you got a lot. Like a lot of bang for a little buck, like a filet for the price of chuck, like a short stack that's a mile high on lasagna, pow to the sky, it's a lot of something that'll make you smile, and a lot of good to keep you shopping right, so grab a friend and take a bite, you might just find it's a lot to like. Hey, that's a lot, a lot, save a lot, a lot, it's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Get your business in order. Hey, listen, right now I'm walking, I'm walking straight ahead. You know what? We all are gonna end up at a pearly gate someday. I believe that in my heart. Some of you all are not prepared. You're not prepared. You want me to tell you why? Because you keep saying it's never gonna happen to me. I need you to go over and see my friends at William C. Harris, funeral directors. You know why? Because it is gonna happen. And it's gonna happen to you. How prepared are you going to end up being? Whatever you need to end up doing, you need to make sure you get your business in order. Stop with all this GoFundMe account. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Go fund yourself. Stop waiting for someone to die. And if you can't afford to die, then stop dying. See Harris Funeral Directors. Please give them a call. And most of all, get your business in order. Go fund yourself. Okay? <laughs> okay. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary the King of Hospitality. Why am I the King of Hospitality? Because I can take you where you want to be, and I get to take you to who you need to see. And right now, today, I got one for you. I got your people. So you know what? You say, Mr. Gary, how do you know us our people? You know why? Because they've been doing it for years. They've been in the neighborhood doing it good. Please welcome to the show, Frank. Dada and Mac, I got your people, baby. You all asked for it, now you got it. You say, Mr. Gary, we want you to go more to the streets. We want you to get the people who we love to meet and greet. I got your people. Who do I have with me? Frank. Frank, what's up? What's up, what's up? Brother, I tell you what's up. What's up is this phone game that you all been doing up here for years and years. Take us to the journey. I see that you all have all kind of phones up here. Take us. What all do you do? What all do you have, Frank? Uh, I'd rather Mac talk to you. Mac, Mac he's say, the Mac. Mac, Mac. Mac's the man. Yeah, yeah, he, Mac say he's so busy. Too. Look at Mac. Mac back there working on somebody's phone right now. What kind of phone is that that Mac is working on? He will give you a few minutes and he will... He will give me a few minutes? Listen yeah, what I'm saying to you. <laughs> See, that was your people. This is the problem I'm trying to tell you. I said you are the Mac. That is Frank. You're Frank. That's Mac. That's Mac, yeah. Mac but He's you work man. on the phones too, though, Frank. Yeah, but Mac is the man. Yeah. Okay, but he Mac might be the man, but he the man sitting there. So I'm standing next to the man, standing next to the man, and now you the man. So I need to tell him he'll be there in a minute. He's really but there's a free, you. there's a flip phone. What is that flip phone in there? What's that flip phone? A flip yeah. phone. A flip. For, do anybody <laughs> do anybody have a flip phone anymore? People still buy it. Yeah, they still buy them. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's like the older people had a flip phone. Yeah, but I was on vacation for four months. I mean, you was on talking. vacation. You said yeah. you don't know if that. Well, let time. me ask you something. Before you went on vacation, was that flip phone there? That's there for <laughs> twenty years. For twenty years, <laughs> so they ain't flipping with the phone no more. Hey, listen, down here we got all this over here too. Mac, I tell you what, man. We love everything that you're doing here, here at the store. People love it. They're coming in. They got the phone game going. They're paying their bills. What all do you all do here, Mac? Well, I do anything that my clients want me to do. Okay. The market is so big. There's a lot of selections. Okay. We like to make the budget, you know, and make it as accessible and as easy, as okay. affordable as possible. Yes. 
Yes. Uh, we like to keep it fast and get people going. Okay, so you like to keep it fast and get people going. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask some fast questions, and we're going to see if we can keep it going. First of all, repair phones. How much does it cost? Do you repair phones? How much does it cost? A normal repair costs between $19.99 all the way up. $19.99 all the way up. Depends on the model of the phone, the problem okay. with it. Okay. Uh, and so basically people have the, the crack faces, correct? Is that correct. Right? And the average price for these is $59 to $89. $59 to what. $89. Yeah. So all those people out there telling y'all that it costs $200 and $300 to fix your crack phone. And, and, okay, talk to me. Somebody may come in and they may have a phone that they bring it in from another company. Do you do that? We do anything the customer walks in with. You do anything the customer wants? Everything. Want. Everything. They can pay their bill here. Absolutely. They can pay the bill. Everything. T-Mobile. Everything. Metro. That's my that's my logo. Everything. Everything. Yeah, so you do everything. Everything. Okay, do you give away free phones since you do Mr. Everything? Uh, sometimes with the port in, yes. Uh -huh. People people familiar with that term. Port right. in, yes. The port in. You port the phone. Correct. Okay. All right, good. And so I'm seeing all of this. Now, you also have some accessories. I'm seeing you got ear pods, right? AirPods, Bluetooth, chargers, cases, you name it. You got it. You name it. How long have you been doing this yourself? 23 years. So you know the community. I, I love the community. Okay, yeah. so you was here when they had bag phones. Yes. And they had beepers. I'm here before that. Oh, you was here before that. You got a beeper? What's your beeper number? Not anymore. You know, <laughs> Not anymore. Not All anymore. right, but well, I tell you what. Listen, we got the guy right here. Get over here, man. Get over here to me. Get over here to me. What's your name? Who, me? I'm Charles. How you doing? What well, Charles? You mean who, who me? Charles? Who else would it be but you? Uh, yeah, definitely, you. definitely. Charles, tell me, man. You've been coming here. You rock here with the people. Yeah, this is a cell phone guy. He's going to always take care of anything that you need to be took care of. And so that's just calling the cell phone guy. Yeah, right? that's what I call him. Do you remember when you got guy. your first cell phone? Was you perpetrating riding around with that big bag in the car? Nah, cover? nah. It was Come more on, like a Nokia. You. It was Nokia. <laughs> yeah, what you know about Nokia. the Nokia? <laughs> just riding around. Did you have the big one? The big fat one? Oh, yeah, the one black in the bag. Black and yellow. Black with and yellow. Black and yellow. With, black and yellow. With the what? With the rubber grip. With the rubber grip. Hey, man, this is what it's all about. Man, Beepers was big. Remember when Beepers was hot at one time? Everybody yeah, I had a young. Beeper. I think I was younger. And that's when you was younger. Yeah, well, i tell you what. Here, everybody's coming in. They said that they got the game on, on, on lock. What if you got here before? Uh, I've got plenty of cell phones from them. In fact, I'm waiting on the repair the face of my phone. Waiting on the repair the face of your phone. So listen, where you from, man? For me, I'm from right here. I'm from St. Louis. From St. Louis. Yeah, Born and raised St. Louis? Definitely, definitely. Okay, what do you like about St. Louis, man? Everything. The arts. Everything. The, the highest. The highest. The highest. The roofs. Chris. Roots Chris. Roots Chris. Steakhouse. I've never heard of it before. It's inside the Hyatt. Right across the street from the Arch. Okay, and, and what do they do there? Yeah, yeah. No, steak. Okay, well, let me put it in my memo so I know. What is it called again? Roots Chris. Roots Chris. Uh, Roots See, I know about Roots Chris. Chris. I know Roots Chris. It's the same thing, Roots. 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 Ah, come get y'all people. And y'all over at the Roots Chris. <laughs> <laughs> come to the Roots Chris. Hey, yeah, Whatever you got. Downtown location. Downtown uh, St. Louis County. And what Clayton. are they coming to again? Clayton location. Roots Chris. Roots Chris. Roots hey, Chris. what do you say when he says, Mr. Gary? I got your people, you all. Okay? Okay.